Hey, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, and I want to share a little bit about Todoist's updated upcoming view. Now, there are some things that apply to the paid version and some that don't, so I'm going to show you uh, what's what here and just get into that. So if you're using Todoist or thinking about using Todoist um, and you want to check out this feature, you're in the right place. So I'm already in Todoist. Right now, I'm using the desktop app on a Windows computer. And what you can see over here is if you click on upcoming, you, this is generally what you would see. And you know, this is handy. We can uh, uh, click around to different dates. You can scroll through them and you can see that there are no tasks due in the back. I am completely up to date. Just kidding, this is kind of my test account. Um, so I just pop things in here for, uh, for showing other people and for doing, you know, setting up random things uh, for examples. Uh, but what is important is if you're not used to this um, or you want to see a, ca a true calendar view, um, that that is in the paid version of Todoist. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you what the different uh, settings might look like. Here you can have a board. Um, so this is going to show you, you know, a few days at a time. And we can then, you know, skip forward. And I don't have a ton of stuff in here because, like I said, uh, this is more for examples and to give you an idea of what this looks like. But also now this version, the calendar is behind um, page. You have to be a pro user. But that way you can, you know, come check it out as a month. Um, at a time and scroll through. This is July, August, September. So we could come in here and add a task and call this upcoming task. It's already got the date of uh, the date that I selected or clicked on. And then you can add any reminders, do anything else you normally need to do, just like it uh, normally works. And you can add it to projects, whatever you need. So we're just going to go ahead and add that up there. And we'll go back. And of course, this is handy. If you click on today, it brings you back into today. All right. And as you would think too, not just scrolling, but you can go to the next month or um, go back or forward. Okay. And then we can also filter in a calendar view, which is handy if you want to filter by the assignee. Um, if you're using it with a team, that can be helpful, your priorities or your labels. Um, and then coming back in you know, again to your list. Um, I think this is what most people are used to seeing, but that calendar view can be really helpful for some longer term stuff and, you know, quickly uh, scrolling through and maybe seeing the upcoming months and what's going on. So really handy view. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.